What's up, everybody? It's me, Salty Saltibus, back for the first official episode of Dino Mythbusters. And, yeah, I'm trying to think of a topic that I can cover. But, um, I was going to do the age-old question of a Patasaurus versus Brontosaurus. But I realized I haven't done nearly enough research to produce an accurate script for that, so I'm going with a simpler topic. And it has to do with the dinosaurs in Jurassic Park. You're going to hear a lot about the dinosaurs in Jurassic Park in this series for multiple reasons that I don't care to list right now. But in this one, we will be talking about the Velociraptors and how inaccurate they are. And no, I'm not trying to rant and bang on Jurassic Park. I'm just saying these Velociraptors are pretty darn inaccurate. Now, if you remember, for you guys who have watched the Jurassic Park films, you know that the Velociraptors are as tall as a man and super fast, super smart, and super scary. They, two of them, were like taking down humans and stuff. This is false. Velociraptors are about the size of chickens, if not a little bigger. They were covered in feathers, and they had tiny brains. Literally. And no, I'm not saying this just, like, to piss you guys off. This isn't true. And, like, yeah, I wish Velociraptors were film. The Velociraptors in the film were, like, how they actually were in real life. That would make them a lot cooler. But the dinosaurs in the Jurassic Park films are more accurately um, physically resembling the Deinonychus, which is a relative of Velociraptor in the same species or class. And the Deinonychus is like a Velociraptor, except I think its toe claw is a little bit longer, and in reality, it was a lot bigger and a lot faster. It could get up to around six feet, whereas the Velociraptor was like two to three feet. And Deinonychus was a fierce hunting predator. It traveled in packs, just like the Velociraptors. And the similarities between the two are endless, but so are the differences. And so just don't get these two mixed up. And to further emphasize my point, I will be talking with a Velociraptor. Hey, everybody. Uh, my name is Velociraptor. I'm not going to give out my real name because I'm But anyway, I may look really huge on camera, but that's because I'm a toy. And in reality, I'm almost the same size as an actual Velociraptor. Yes, we Velociraptors get mixed up with Deinonychuses a lot. Or Deinonychi, I don't know. But just like Salty said, in the Jurassic Park movie, we are portrayed as a lot bigger and stronger and smarter than we actually are. And no, I'm going to get a lot of Velociraptor hate comments saying like, Boo, you just ruined my childhood. But here's the reality, people. You clicked on this video knowing what it was going to be about. So, get wrecked. That may have sounded a little bit harsher than I was looking for. But, yeah, for a first episode, I think this is a light, short topic to cover about the inaccuracy of the Jurassic Park dinosaurs. And don't worry, this isn't the last you've heard those two fateful words, Jurassic Park, because they're going to be coming back a lot in terms of T-Rex versus Spinosaurus, and in terms of Dilophosaurus spit, and all kinds of things. And don't worry, I'll be getting around to that Apatosaurus or Brontosaurus episode soon. As soon as I can find the time to do some research to produce a ac uh, good, accurate script. Because there's going to be a lot of dinosaur mumbo-jumbo that I want to get correct. But yeah, this is Salty Saltipus signing off. I hope you enjoyed. And remember, if you guys have any dinosaur-burning questions, leave them in the comments below.